Hello, hello. How are you doing? It's my honor to see you all. Well, today I am going to show you how to cook the uh, Japanese style pork ginger. It's also called pork shoga yaki. So, shoga itself means uh, ginger. So, I use the, of course, organic ginger and I'm gonna uh, put some garlic. Sorry. So, basically, the pork ginger with my own twist. Okay, so those of you new, please press the like button and thumbs up, right? Of course. And please subscribe and then ring the bell, right? Right? So that you won't miss the fantastic forthcoming cooking shows as well. Okay, let's get started. So what do we have here? So um so you just gonna watch all right what I'm gonna do okay so uh we have the uh, stainless steel wok okay uh, I'm gonna use that so I'm gonna start making that and then so I'm gonna add organic extra virgin olive oil okay so now Normally it takes one hour to cook it, but normally I do it maybe less than 30 minutes. Mmm, it's good. Delicious. I love olive oil. Who doesn't, right? So, <laughs> okay, then we're going to get started. Now, this wok is not required to put the super high heat, just medium to medium high. But um, until I'm gonna put the ingredients, I'm gonna just do it super low heat, okay? So, okay, you just watch what I'm gonna do. Okay, so normally with the pork ginger, no, don't you don't put garlic, but I do it because I just like it, okay? So my own twist. You can omit it, yeah. You know. Hmm. Sorry, I'm uh, once again, I am filming from the uh, Boeing 727 sized, you know, a cabin, right? So that's okay. Like, I can do it. You can do it as well. All right. And you don't need to take this, uh, this part. I know it might be bitter, but it's not bad. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, if you don't want to grate it, you can put the chopped garlic, but I just like this way, okay? So, there. Mmm, this is the chef's privilege, right? Uh, all right. Organic garlic, organic ginger. make sure you bind the you know veggies organic veggies right because those the, the conventional one they don't they have way more or less phytonutrients or nutrition values right because the phytonutrients itself is working hard for you guys yeah, in the body you can do your research okay yeah man I can smell smell it beautifully I love this yeah you know sometimes I make the uh, ginger infused alcohol it tastes good damn good especially in winter time right so as long as it's organic you can do it otherwise eating what drinking a pesticides ready cocktail you don't want that don't you okay excuse me so no meat salad right don't be like me okay just, I don't want to waste even one tiny micron, right? So, no, I'm going to eat this in here. Mmm, it's good. All right, so. Hmm. Then, I'm going to stir this up, right? So, so you seen this, right? Well, it's a warning. Yeah, panic zone warning. Yeah, whatever. All right, and then 
I'm go ahead. I'm going to add the uh, pre-cleaned or uh, cleansed pork, uh, about 900 grams of two pounds. Okay, so I I posted this on BitChute that how to clean the uh, meat. Okay, yeah, because you don't want naughty stuffs in the food, right? So okay, I'm just gonna add it right away. And then. Just gonna add uh, a two pounds of pork. Yeah, and just add them up. Yeah, why not? All right. Then stir. Yeah. Hmm. And then so I'm gonna add uh, two cups of fried tofu. And a cup of uh, king oyster mushrooms. Okay, so as you see here, yeah. Okay, and organic uh, Welsh onions. It can be substituted regular onions or scallions. Is your choice. If you don't want onions, that's okay too. So you can put more mushrooms. Okay. So, bam. Do it. Okay, and then. I just broke the uh, porcelain, but that's okay. It's only, you know, don't be like me. Okay. So, yeah. And then I'm going to add, you know what? Yeah. A ponzu sauce, the citrus flavor, soy sauce. Okay. All right. You don't have to. I just like it. It's my own twist. And then those of you uh, like spicy, I put the organic jalapeno sauce. Okay. I know it's not the uh, traditional Japanese recipe, but I just do it with my own twist. And then once again, pour some olive oil. Okay. The happy, happy. Yeah. Okay. And then what else we have? So let me get something. Yeah. My sincere condolences that my favorite postman decommissioned. Whoa. Yeah, it's a, thank goodness I only paid this for two dollars. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll take care of this later. And then I'm gonna add tankery gin. I mean, I just ran out of sake, so I just, uh, I'm gonna put gin, okay? I mean, nobody sponsored me, but it doesn't matter. I just love good stuff, right? So, okay, and then. What else? Uh, fish stocks? Pesticides free? Do I still have it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, cover the lid. All right, so, probably takes, you know, a few minutes. Mm, you know what? I'm going to set a time anyway. Roughly, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Uh, see what happens. Yeah. Now, uh, normally I, uh, I use the um, stainless steel cooking pan, right? So, now, I do not recommend using the, uh, what was that, uh, Teflon or, you know, these, so to speak, nonstick pans, right? Because when the heat's coming up, that they release PFOA and all the naughty things, right? So, sometimes... You know the other things yeah so people you know some manufacturers says that you know oh this non-stick products are pfoa free but doesn't mean all other trash are free you know so please do your research not because i said okay so do your own research before you gonna believe what i'm saying or not okay so this particular model be using uh, made by amway uh, it's called I'm a Queen Cookware, but I think it's North America. It's called I'm a I Cookware, but I got the wok. Okay, so may not be available in certain markets, but those of you don't have woks or any brands, you can use any anything. You know, um, saucepan, Dutch oven. Uh, uh, so either stainless steel, uh, 
iron cast or glass okay yeah okay so those are good to go ceramics are not bad however when ceramics getting cracked the, the underneath the ceramic coating normally is made out of aluminium so you don't want to get the aluminium flavor um, food don't you okay so that's why so this is my favorite one in serving my duty for many years right so yeah it's my good gadget so, yeah okay I can already smell something amazing all right so I can smell it beautifully. Can you imagine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Amazing. It's only what? Um, after I put pork, uh, was 28 minutes. So two minutes me elapsed. So that's good. Fantastic. Now 27. So three. It's been cooked for three minutes. I can feel the warmness, okay? So don't be like me, okay? Because I know it's pain is a beautiful thing, but doesn't mean you should get burned. You know, I'm, I'm just a, uh, you know, average, average uh, miniature, uh, the uh, comical chef. So that's why I'm doing it, yeah? So, yeah. Voila! Once again. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Don't play with the food. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I understand things are getting worse in some parts of the planet, right? So, my sincere condolences, okay? Uh, those of you are watching, uh, I thank you all watching. And then, because at the same time, I just want all of you to eat cleaner, cleaner food, much as you can. Yeah. Because... In order to, you know, uh, fight against everything, you know, uh, some ongoing situation that we are having or, or other things, the nutrition's are the key. Yeah. So when you buy stuffs, you know, try to make your own food, you know, not the uh, prepackaged meal. You know, try not do that unless an emergency. The different stores, but you know, I'm not. I'm not offending people who are eating stuff like that, but I just want all of you to stay healthier, okay? So, I make, well, I make my own food, yeah. Even I'm super hungry, you know, uh, outside, you know, at the meeting. I try to cook at home much as I can. And then, because the, uh, and then in case I need to reach out to the uh, supermarket or any other place, you know, because um, I'm just hungry. So, normally I eat, uh, see, I'm a ketogenic guy. I know I'm uh, still chubby at this moment. It doesn't matter. So I tell him anyway. So I buy organic olive oil. That's number one. And number two, either uh, macadamia nuts or walnuts, right? So I eat these three things. You know, people are staring at me, you know, so when I'm taking the bus or train or whatever, so or driving a car. You know, red light, and then drinking olive oil. Look at me. This driver's so weird. I don't care what they say because I'm the only person can take care of my own body, right? So, in a healthier way, right? So, so be not afraid. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, burning hot. So five minutes me elapsed. So, okay. Uh, five minutes me elapsed. Well, wow, my voice sucks today. I apologize. Yeah. Because this uh, cookware has seven layers, right? So stainless steel on the outside, inside is, you know, I forgot, uh, it's aluminum, all other things. But since aluminum doesn't go directly, that's a good thing. But at the same time, aluminum itself helps to uh, 
spread the heat faster. So yeah, it's amazing. It's a good gadget. As you see that, um, the sound, right? Okay, so when start evaporating, the moisture get trapped here. So it's, it's becoming like a gasket between the steel and steel, right? And the water uh, between, right? So again, okay, this is water. This is stainless steel lid, stainless steel uh, wok or pan, right? So this is how it's called labyrinth C, similar to the uh, Jeff uh, engine technology. It's called the, uh, you can search it if you want. Labyrinth seal of the jet engine. All right, so now, ooh, rotating. Yeah, I wish I can play the, uh, you know, record in this way, but it's going to melt down, so it's not going to happen in my lifetime, I guess. Yeah, see how it goes. Ooh, look at that, right? You know what? I'm going to stir this up. I mean stir, you know, keep mixing. Uh. Okay. So just, and then beforehand, I'm just going to show you. This is how it goes, right? Not completely done, okay? So, because you don't want a medium rare pork, do you? No, it's, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know the reason, right? So you keep stirring up, yeah? Because still, yeah. Still uncooked, undercooked. You don't want pork sashimi. <laughs> All right. So I'm trying not to make fun of them, but you don't want naughty meat. I mean, I mean undercooked meat. Yeah. Unless you're eating beef, that's a different story. But even though you gotta be careful, right? So when you buy, ask a uh, butchers. You know, if you know, you should become. You should make some friends who's a butcher or. You know who owns the uh, sh special shop, right? So, wow, it's halfway done. Amazing. And then the veggies has doesn't have to be cooked totally. You know, it can be written raw because it's organic. And then, but even though it's organic, you still have to wash it, right? Because sometimes uh, bugs are stuck, stuff like that. So normally I wash it with the uh, so fill the uh, uh, what was that um, filtered water? Okay and then uh, a tablespoon of baking soda and then a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar or regular regular vinegar We've got to be organic though yeah so try to be organic much as you can right so wow halfway done yeah it should be ready in maybe five minutes yeah this is amazing. Like two pounds of pork and veggies. Yeah, have we done? Amazing. And oh, speaking of this, so the the this one is called uh, pork ginger Japanese styles, but with my own twist. Yeah. So <laughs> normally people don't add garlic, but I did because I just love it. Okay. So garlics are my friend. They're serving my duty for years and years. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. This may not look appetizing to certain people. That's okay. You know, it tastes so good anyway. And then, those of you who cannot eat pork, that's no problem. It can be substituted with lamb, beef, chicken, turkey. Uh, duck, yes, okay, and then uh, I'm going to uh, put the descriptions below that how to clean the meat. I I posted on Bitshoot, okay, so Bitshoot. Yeah, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that stuff. You know, Bitshoot or Bitshoot. Tell me, okay, so let me know. Yeah, I'm not the language expert, so yeah, so so be it. Yeah. <laughs> Do, do, do. Bang, 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 right? So, yeah. Hmm. See, good things of this one, you don't need to put number 10 or super high heat. Medium high, 
is the you know the highest that's that's all you need yeah if you're using the uh, medium size uh, saucepan or Dutch oven you can do it like number six you know that's like medium the medium slightly high right so yeah but can you imagine I can cook this gigantic meal sumo sized meal for less lesser you know time amazing praise the Lord yeah yeah I love this so does invite the lock right that's the uh, uh, companies the uh, suppliers technical term but the uh, it's called lab lay brand seal of the jet engine similar to that technology yeah those of you uh, are airline engine mechanics you know I think you understand that right? so, so you know what Ooh, it's already cooked amazing this is beautiful you know what I'm gonna mix this baby up right now. Yeah. Oops, excuse me. Hey. Gonna wash it real quick. Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, I think it's cooked. Yeah. So it's done. So if you want to get rid of the uh, liquid, I mean, you may add uh, organic cornstarch, but normally I don't do that. I just love the. Uh, I don't mind the soupy because I only care about. I'm more prioritizing on getting finest, uh, healthiest ingredients anyway. So, all right, this sounds good, huh? Okay, you know what, you can, so, takes less than 15 minutes to do that, amazing, doesn't it, yeah, so, now, the tasting moment, uh, you know what, I'm gonna use the stainless steel, uh, chopsticks, oh, earthquakes, no, 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 never, I just bump into the camera, okay, so, alright, I'm gonna add, okay, so. Okay. I'm not a good at garnish stuff, you know. To, uh, okay. Yeah, why not? Put some more, right? Yeah. Where's the darn mushrooms? I know you guys are hiding somewhere. Ah, here. Mushrooms. King oyster mushrooms, yeah. That, that's the tech, uh, that's the uh, term, I guess. Where's the uh, the head part? Ah, uh, here. All right. Okay. Here's the uh, Welsh onion. Welsh onion, and then uh, mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Cheers, kanpai. Cheers to a great health. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Once again, I really apologize eating in front of you like this, okay? Because it's called the uh, chef's privilege. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So, two pounds of pork, right? So, it's going to feed 10 Japanese people, or three Americans, or one Hawaiian. <laughs> Just joking. You're doing research. All right. No offense, okay? I mean, then if you want to do three pounds, do it. Go for it, right? And then once you do that, you know, you can store it in the refrigerator and you can reheat it, right? So, yeah. 
Okay, before I say goodbye, I just want to eat this because I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day, to be honest with you. Mmm. Mmm. Unbelievable. Mmm. Mmm, this is good. Mm. So please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna eat this tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay then. So, once again, so if you enjoy, please thumbs up, press the like button, right? And then ring the bell, like this way, right? Whoa, it's not working today. Uh, ring the bell, okay. And subscribe, okay, so that you won't miss, you do not miss the fantastic, opportun fantastic uh, cooking shows. Okay, cheers, and thumbs up, right? So... Uh, so hopefully you're doing well, stay strong and stay positive. Thank you very much. God bless you. See ya.